Hello, in this video, I'm going to take you through the divisions of the small intestine. Uh, so the first segment, or we can also say proximal. Um, now, now I want to first mention the use of proximal and distal when it comes to the digestive tract. Um, proximal refers to towards the start of and distal refers to towards the end of. So we normally use those terms to describe positions of structures on a limb relative to their proximity to the trunk. Uh, but in a case like this, we can use proximal and distal to mean towards the beginning of or towards the end of a certain track when, they, when the tract uh, clearly goes in one direction like the digestive tract. Um, so the duodenum is the first segment or the most proximal segment of the small intestine. Uh, it is mostly retroperitoneal. And if you need a review of that term um, and also intraperitoneal that you'll see on the next slide, I included a link in the description below to uh, help you learn about what those terms mean. Uh, so the duodenum is about 10 inches long. It is definitely the shortest segment of the small intestine. Um, it goes from the stomach to where it attaches to the next segment, the jejunum. Um, and if we look in our picture here, this is the duodenum just right here. It's a very short, just 10 inch long segment. It curves around the head of the pancreas. Uh, it secretes lots of different hormones that are part of digestion. Uh, they help to stimulate secretions from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Uh, they also signal the hypothalamus to say that we're full. Uh, it also signals the stomach to slow down gastric emptying so that uh, the duodenum can cope with all the food that's being emptied. Um, and then also it helps stimulate the, the hormones secreted by the duodenum help to stimulate the secretions from the other organs that are important for neutralizing the extremely acidic pH of the chyme that is being emptied from the stomach into the duodenum. Um, absorption of most of our nutrients begins in the duodenum. Um, so this is the major point of absorption for most of our vitamins, minerals, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Um, so there's a little bit of absorption of a couple different things in the stomach. Um, and then there's absorption of specific nutrients later on that happens in certain segments in the small intestine and the large intestine. But majority of our nutrients are beginning to be absorbed in the duodenum. Okay, then we get to the jejunum, that is our intermediate section. So it's between the duodenum and the ileum. It is intraperitoneal and about eight feet long. And here we continue absorption of all those nutrients I just mentioned. And also we start absorbing water in this segment. Then we get to the ileum. It's also intraperitoneal. It is the most distal segment of the small intestine. It is also the longest segment at about 12 feet long. And it goes from the jejunum. So in our picture, this whole portion here is the jejunum. And then here is the ileum. So it goes from the uh, end of the jejunum all the way until it connects to the large intestine in this area here. Uh, via the ileocecal valve. So it's called the ileocecal valve, but it's actually a sphincter to be more accurate um, in our anatomical terminology. So the ileocecal sphincter. Um, and so there we also continue to absorb all those nutrients that we were just talking about, and we continue to absorb water. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and hope you have a great day.